There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. As unsuspecting muggles slept, a huge motorbike with a giant astride it tumbled down from the darkness. The giant, named Hagrid, left a blanket-wrapped bundle on the doorstep of number four, Privet Drive. Nestled in the bundle was a baby, Harry Potter. The boy who lived. The boy who lived. The boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Until that fateful day, when he received the letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Hagrid took Harry to Diagon Alley to purchase a most unusual list of school supplies. Soon after, Harry caught the Hogwarts Express from platform nine and three quarters and left the muggle world far behind. Harry sat beneath a sorting hat, hoping that he would not be chosen for Slytherin House over Gryffindor. Not Slytherin, eh? said the hat in his ear. You could be great. It's all here in your head, and Slytherin will help you on your way to greatness. No? Well, if you're sure, better be... Gryffindor! Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, I am Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Now, Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry, so search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Oh, um, which reminds me, uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Nitwit, blubber, oddment, tweak, four wonderful words, don't you think? Well now, it's nice to see a new face and a Gryffindor too. Good for you. I can't remember the last time I opened up. I'm a bit rusty, you see. I'm not sure I still can. However, if you can find out the correct password, I'll give it a go. Off you go, then. But be careful, there are some odd creatures about. By the look of that scar, you must be Harry Potter. I'm Fred Weasley, and this is my brother, George. Hello there, Harry. We have a proposal for you. In Hogwarts, there are special portraits, and behind these special portraits are prizes. But of course, not just anyone can open up the portraits. You need to know the password. If you bring us earwax every flavour beans, we'll tell you the password. We'll be in the Gryffindor common room, which is through the portrait of the fat lady. See you around, Harry. Hey, Harry! Remember me, Ron Weasley? That slimy Slytherin, Draco Malfoy, ran through this door with an owl under his arm. I think it was your owl, Hedwig. Let's go after him. Harry, let's find Hedwig. Well, 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 if it isn't the famous Harry Potter. I'm Draco Malfoy, and you do well to show me respect. 
Looking for that owl of yours? How careless of you to leave it lying about. Go home to your mother, Potter. Oh, sorry, you don't have one, do you? He's a nasty piece of work. Just ignore him. Us Gryffindors should stick together. <sighs> Come on, Harry, follow me. To climb up, just push forwards on your controller. Let's go. Follow me. Mm. To jump, just approach the edge and keep pressing forwards on the controller. Look, there's another feather. I'll double back and watch the entrance. You'd better go on and rescue Hedwig. triangle button. Press the triangle button again when you've finished. Ah, some snails have escaped from a Care of Magical Creatures class. Careful, they're dreadfully poisonous. Press the cross button to cast the Flipendo knockback jinx from your wand. That should stop the wretched things. And watch out for those poisonous snail trails. You can use your L2 and R2 buttons to rotate the game camera. Flipendo! Flipendo! Press the triangle button to view your surroundings. You can also cast a Flipendo knockback jinx from this view. See what you can find to Flipendo in this room. Hello again. Did you notice that those poisonous snails twinkle? Things that twinkle can be affected by a Flipendo knockback jinx. This is a jinx block. Your Flipendo knockback jinx will move it aside. To move the jinx block, cast a Flipendo at it. Take a look at this. A tall jinx block like this one needs a charged flipendo knockback jinx to move it. 
To cast a charged knockback jinx, hold down the cross button to build up the spell before releasing it. Flipendo! 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 Bottom. Malfoy led me down here and then ran through a secret passage with an owl. Now I'm trapped by these enchanted books. I've lost my wand, so I can't knock the books out of the way with Flipendo. Use the R1 button to point your wand at the flying books, then use your cross button to cast. Flipendo! <laughs> Is around here somewhere. There, I found it. A charge flipendo knockback jinx might free Hegwood from those bars. Keep the cross button held down to cast one. I see you rescued Hedwig. She was eager to get out, so I opened the door for her. That'll teach Malfoy to mess with us. Hi, I'm Neville. I'm in Gryffindor too. Harry helped me escape from some flapping books. Nice to meet you, Neville. Come on down. Uh, it's all right. You guys go ahead. I think I've lost my toad, Trevor. Come on, Harry. Let's go.